love to. You didn't want to in October, November, December, January, or February when you weren't in jail. Why didn't you tell us then? What? You didn't call me when Alex died, which now I'm glad he's gone if he was a part of this, but you didn't call to tell me Alex died or that your kids are gone? Nothing? You don't think that's going to cause pain throughout our entire family? That's never my intent. Well, you don't think I'm in pain? No, I don't. I think you were dancing on the beach having a great time. Getting married. And you took pictures to prove your kids don't deserve a burial, but you need to get wedding pictures? You don't think that's upsetting? Nobody knows. I'm sorry, honey. <laughs> then nobody knows except for you and the Lord. Yeah, ask him. I have. And guess what? I don't have one scripture that says it's okay for children to be thrown away like garbage in the ground. And that that's okay. There is nothing in the scriptures that is godly about hurting a child. Nothing. And they deserve a proper burial with family that loves them at the least. I can't support that. That's hurtful to everyone. That's the most selfish, incredibly selfish thing I can think of. I can't think of anything worse. I don't understand. I don't understand. This is not my Lolo that I have known and loved. I've never even seen you be upset with your kids. I went to bat for you and said that to everyone. I never have been upset with them. I never have been. How can you just go on without them? without any upsetness and without telling us anything and they expect us to understand. Nobody knows in the world. Nobody in the world knows what I've been through. And I don't expect you to. All you've seen is what's on TV. No, that's not what he says. And all the influences of all the people around. Okay, so now I'm deceived. No, Everyone I'm in the world that. is deceived except for you. No, I'm not saying that at all. I'm not saying that. I'm saying nobody's seen me on the floor crying. Nobody knows what I've been through. With my children that I love more than anything. Lori. Fine. You were dancing on a beach with a smile on your face taking wedding photos. Yeah, months later. <laughs> You don't trying think? to go on with life, trying to be happy, trying to find some kind of happiness. You think I want to be alone? Do you think that your mother and your sister and your son don't deserve to know that the children are gone? Why wouldn't you call and tell us that? Why were we cut off? You saying you want to go on and be happy? You were just going to be happy without your family and your life until you're stuck in jail and I'm the only one stupid enough to be your friend when I've been your best supporter, Lori. I've loved you my whole life. I still do. I can't bear to think of anything bad about you. It hurts me. I don't want to see you in jail. I don't want you to be there. I don't want people to misunderstand. If you would tell me the truth, I would stand up for you for the rest of time. You know that I would. I know you would. But there is nothing okay about this. Nothing. I know. If you think it's okay, Paul, you have greatly been deceived if you think Nothing it is okay. Nothing is okay. Nothing about this is okay, Lori, Summer. We have all read the scriptures. I know you've told me about a lot of your spiritual experiences. You know I'm trying to support you in all of them. But I am telling you, because I love you with all my 